What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. In today's content, we'll be covering the game services issue that appears in the Xbox app for PC. Now, if you are watching on YouTube and are looking for more content related to this topic, you can find it on the Microsoft Windows playlist. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about the problem, which is first recognized when you open the Xbox app. Now, I did remedy this issue myself, so you're not going to see it here live, but I am going to include a picture within this video of what your app may look like if the problem does occur. So common symptoms include your games not being shown in the left panel of the app or games shown as not installed or not purchased. So this happened to me with Mortal Kombat 11. I did purchase and install Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, but it was shown as not purchased or not installed within the app. So as you can imagine, when I did try to play Mortal Kombat 11, all I had was the base version. The Ultimate version was not playable within the game. It was shown as purchasable, but I had already purchased it. And when I did try to purchase it again, it would say that I had already purchased it, but I also couldn't install it. It was shown as not installed on my PC. Now, another symptom of this problem is you may notice there is a notification somewhere within the app. I believe mine was towards the bottom in a green bar and it said game services needs an update. Now, when clicking on this notification, it opens a page in your web browser that brings you to the game and services application page. Now, if you're new to Windows PC gaming, Game and Services is a utility and tools application that manages your gaming experience. Now, there may be an occasional glitch with this application. As you can see, I am not signed into my Microsoft account on this page, but even when signed in, there was no option anywhere to update the application. And other highlights of this page include the very low 1.6 star rating, as well as one star reviews that show up by default. They are very discouraging. If you would like, take a moment, pause the video, read some of these. Of course, I'm not going to read the complete comment, but we'll just read the title here. First title, please fix this, read this Microsoft. Next title, I don't get it. The title after this, I just want to play the games I paid for. I just want to play the games I paid for. Exclamation, 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 exclamation. It goes on forever. So people are obviously frustrated by this. And this does indicate that this may be a common problem that's widespread and it may be a random glitch. So let's go ahead, close out of this page and let's talk about the fix. Now, as with troubleshooting anything, there may be multiple solutions. So the solution that I'm going to show in this video is the one that worked for myself. But if you've done something else that did work for you, make sure you let us know in the comments below as it may help other people who are watching the video who also have this problem. So the very first thing we're going to do is look for the start icon in the taskbar. You can see how my taskbar disappears. If you would like to know how to do this, I did make a tutorial on it and you can find it by clicking on the card in the corner of this video. But again, we're going to go to that taskbar, look for the start icon. It looks like a window panel that's divided into four sections. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to look for our settings icon. Now, mine is in this pinned tray that you see here, but if yours isn't showing up, we can go to the search bar and then we could do a search for settings. And as you can see, my settings option will appear under a category titled best match, and then we can click on it. Now, this is going to open a new page where we can look for a category titled apps. It's going to be in this left panel here we're going to click on it that's going to refresh the page and then we're going to look for the category apps and features and click on that as well again we will get a page refresh so this page is going to show our apps and features basically our apps they're going to be located towards the bottom of this page we keep scrolling until we find the app that we're looking for but this can be time consuming. So above all of our listed apps, you can see that we have a search bar and we're going to input gaming services. 
And you can see we have the Game and Services Microsoft Corporation option show up here. And to the far right of this, we're going to have what some call a hamburger menu. It's basically three dots in a line vertically. And we're going to click on that. And then we're going to have this drop down menu with an option that is advanced options. And we're going to click on that. And that's going to refresh the page. So this opens a new page with our possible solutions. So first we're going to scroll down until we see a category titled terminate with a description that tells us exactly what it does. So it says immediately terminate this app and its related processes. Basically it force closes the app and we'll click on it for a live demonstration. You can see it appears nothing happens, but again, it basically force closes the app. And that brings us to the next process, which actually fixed my issue. We have a category underneath with a few options. The category is titled reset and underneath this, we have the repair option. The repair option is what specifically fixed the problem for me. And then we have a description of what the repair option does. It says if this app isn't working right, which it wasn't working right for us, we can try to repair it. And most importantly, the app's data won't be affected. So this is a good solution where you don't have to basically work with the app as though it's brand new and the data is removed. The repair option doesn't do this. And we'll do a click on it just to do a live demonstration. This happens really quick. We get a blue bar that kind of fills up as the process is going on and it's already gone. Now, if this option doesn't work for you, we have the reset option, but I would recommend trying the repair option first. So we're going to click on the reset option. And this says this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Now, I didn't have to do this to fix the problem, but of course, for me to do this tutorial on how to fix the issue, I do have to go through the process just to show you how it works. So we are going to click reset. And again, we get a blue loading bar here and then it is complete. So this also works very fast as well. And also of interest to note, if we scroll down here, you see there is the category uninstall, but the uninstall button is grayed out. So you can't actually uninstall game and services. Just a side note, if you were thinking of uninstalling and reinstalling, because sometimes you will do that too, to help fix an issue. Now, again, I did not have to reset the app but I wanna see what happens because I'm actually doing this live on the video here. So here we are in the app and it looks like it hasn't really changed all that much, but your experience may vary. So you may get the green bar at the bottom. It certainly is a green bar. I just couldn't capture it for this video. And it lets you know something along the lines that another component is needed. And then it mentions gaming services and if you click on it, it mentions that it may need an update or you get a pop-up window that gives you the option to make changes to your computer, which then may open up that web page. But then if you close out of this, which this all sounds very confusing, the green bar then may change to updating an application related to game and services and then if everything works fine then your app should work fine and you should be able to game again so that is it for today's content if you enjoyed it and found it useful please leave a like if you're watching on youtube and have any questions or comments as always drop those down below and i'll do my best to answer them now there are three ways you can support the content the first way is to click on the amazon storefront link in the description below there you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.